Hey everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to go over some practice questions for nervous system drugs as an introduction to pharmacology. In this quiz, we'll review some of the basics, including the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system, alpha and beta drugs, and cholinergic drugs. I'll walk you through the answers and rationales for each question, and you can use the timestamps in the video description to jump ahead. Starting off with question number one, the parasympathetic nervous system is responsible for stimulating the fight or flight response. And for each question, I'll leave a bit of a break where you can pause the video and think about the answers. So the answer here is B, false. The parasympathetic nervous system is responsible for stimulating the rest and digest response, while the sympathetic nervous system is responsible for stimulating the fight or flight response. And moving on to question number two, the major neurotransmitter that acts in the parasympathetic nervous system is? And the answer here is B, acetylcholine. Acetylcholine acts on the muscarinic and nicotinic receptors found in the parasympathetic nervous system. A. Acetaminophen is a medication, C. Epinephrine and D. Norepinephrine are major neurotransmitters, but they act in the sympathetic nervous system. And question number three, a blank drug binds to a receptor and produces an effect within the cell. A blank drug can bind to the same receptor type, but blocks the effect from occurring. And the answer here is A, an agonist drug binds to a receptor and produces an effect within the cell, and an antagonist drug can bind to the same receptor type but blocks the effect from occurring. Agonists bind to and activate receptors, which triggers an effect within the cell. Antagonists bind to and inhibit receptors, blocking the effect from occurring. Question number four, which of the following is not an effect of the stimulation of the sympathetic nervous system? The answer here is D, increased GI motility. Stimulation of the sympathetic nervous system activates the fight or flight response. Increased GI motility is the opposite of what occurs in fight or flight. However, A, decreased elevation, B, increased blood pressure, and C, increased heart rate are all sympathetic nervous system effects. Question number five, adrenergic beta-1 agonists cause which of the following? And the answer here is A, increased heart rate and increased blood pressure. Adrenergic beta-1 agonists will stimulate the beta-1 receptors, which are responsible for increasing heart rate, increasing blood pressure, and increasing the force of contractions of the heart. For your beta receptors, we can always remember beta-1, because we have one heart, affects the heart and blood pressure, while beta-2, we have two lungs, so beta-2 receptors affects the lungs. Question number six, adrenergic alpha-1 agonists can cause relaxation of the pregnant uterus. And the answer here is B, false, because adrenergic alpha-1 agonists can cause contraction of the pregnant uterus. Question number seven, which of the following is an example of a selective drug? The answer here is B, a beta-1 agonist. Beta-1 agonists are selective because they target specific receptors, beta-1 receptors. A, beta blockers are not always selective. C, cholinergic, and D, acetylcholine are also not selective. Another example of a selective drug would be an alpha-2 agonist, which would select and activate alpha-2 receptors. Moving on to question number eight. A beta blocker has the same general effects as an adrenergic agonist. The answer here is B, false. This one might be a little bit tougher. We just have to take our time thinking about the two types of drugs in this question. Beta blockers block the beta receptors of the sympathetic nervous system. So beta blockers are also known as adrenergic antagonists. Adrenergic agonists would do the opposite. They stimulate the sympathetic nervous system, causing the opposite effects of beta blockers. Question number nine, when administering a beta blocker, it is important to look out for, and this is B, orthostatic hypotension. Beta blockers reduce blood pressure and as a side effect can cause orthostatic hypotension, which is a decrease in blood pressure when rapidly changing positions. For example, quickly changing from sitting to standing can cause a large drop in BP. Question number 10, identify which drug may be contraindicated in a patient with asthma or COPD. And the answer here is D, a selective beta-2 antagonist. 
Selective beta-2 antagonists may cause bronchoconstriction. This bronchoconstriction puts asthma or COPD patients at a greater risk of respiratory complications. And our last question for this quiz, number 11, muscarinic receptors are present in which of the following muscle types? And the right answer here is B, cardiac and smooth muscle. Muscarinic receptors are found in both cardiac and smooth muscle, while nicotinic receptors are found in skeletal muscle. And that's it for our nervous system drug quiz. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.